Hello everyone, how are you? I am Akrash, your teacher here and I will teach you different questions and their answers. So I welcome you on classtheta.com. So our today's question is Suppose Elias with a web-based email account, Gmail account with POP3 access strands message to Bob with a work email MS exchange account with IM API access discuss how the message gets from Elias host to Bob's host and Bob's reply message goes back to allies choose the correct email application layer protocol in each step the message is first sent from allies host to her mail server over allies mail server then send the message to bob's mail server the bob's most host retrieves the message from his mail server over bob's reply message is then sent from bob's host over Bob's mail server sending the message to Elias's mail server over Elias's host retrieve the message from her mail server over and the answer of the question is here's here is how the message exchange would typically occur for Elias composes and sends the mail message using her web based email client which utilizes the SMPTP to send the message from LS host to her mail server second LS mail server then uses the SMMTP to send the message to Bob's mail server this step involves DNS required for Bob's to to determine the address of Bob's mail server third Bob's retrieve the email message from his mail server using either the MAP or POP3 Protocol IMAP allowed Bob to access the message his email directly on the server while POP3 typically downloads the email of Bob's local email client for Bob composes and sends his reply message using his work mail client which also utilizes SMTP to send the message from Bob's host to his email server Bob's email server then uses SMTP to send the reply message out to LSS mail server 6 finally LSS retrieves the reply message from her mail server using her web based email client which could use either MAP or POP3 protocol to access her email so the correct email application layer protocol involved in each step or LSS host to LSS mail server SMTP LSS mail server to both mail server SMTP both host to both mail server SMTP both mail server to LSS mail server SMTP LSS mail server to LSS host IMAP or POP3 this process ensured that the mail messages are successfully exchanged between LSS and both email accounts Thank you for watching the video. If you have any question related to this video, please post a comment below. If you have any question in your mind, you can also post on the website and I will be answering you in the next video. Thank you for engaging with us. Until next video, bye bye.